Hello, all. Congrats on the win and congrats on investment. My uh, question will be for Sabrina. Uh, franchise record for a single game, uh, tying it, 36 points tonight in a playoff game. And between your points, assists, and seals tonight, you were responsible or at least played a role in 60 of the 91 points scored on the Liberty scoreboard tonight. So how did tonight feel like a statement game for you on a personal level? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just doing whatever it takes to win. Um, you know, understanding uh, I'm capable of scoring, but knowing that um, getting my teammates open and good looks is a huge kind of part of what I do and pride myself on uh, wanting to establish JJ, knowing what a presence she is uh, inside, outside for us and uh, everyone else as well. And so I think just continuing to kind of take what the defense gives me while also just being assertive, shooting the ball with confidence and continuing to get downhill and drive to and kick. Appreciate your time, Nancy. Uh, congrats, you guys. Uh, Sabrina, for you, that third quarter, it seemed like, was the point in which you were able to kind of take control of the game. You've always talked about it in terms of taking what the defense gives you, but how did you assert yourself in that particular moment? And was there something schematically that was done that was giving you more of those opportunities at that point in the game? Uh, my, my kind of focus was get downhill, get some easy ones. Uh, you know, we were getting stops defensively. We were running. Uh, the second end of second quarter, we got a little three point happy and we're, we're shooting some uh, kind of, you know, shots that normally go in but weren't. And, um, you know, I think kind of there was a point where we kept getting stops and weren't scoring. We were taking some tough shots and that was kind of um, the point where I was like, I got to get into the paint, see if I can draw some fouls and uh, kind of collapse the defense in order to get us some easier looks. And uh, thankfully the paint was wide open. And so I was able to just continue to drive, uh, get, get to the basket, get some easy ones to fall and kind of be able to see us get the lead. And I think that took a little bit of pressure off our back as well. And then JJ, just for you, when she gets downhill like that, you know, how, you're already one of the elite rebounders in the league. How much easier does that make it when the gravity changes on the floor? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's drawing a lot of people. She's bringing a lot of attention. So I just get in the rebounder position. If she misses, which happens very rarely, I'm in a position to be able to get it. <laughs> Um, John Quell, for you, I'm curious what or how this game symbolizes Sabrina's growth year over year in this league. You know, you you played with her in 2023, <coughs> and now here we are in 2024. Um, I mean, I think it's just her being a great player, obviously, and like she said before, taking what the defense gives her, she can change the game in so many different ways, and so um, you know, sometimes. I think when you're able to do that, you tend to overthink. And I know what happens to me. Like, I can shoot, I can drive. So sometimes I'm out there just thinking too much. And so just playing the game and trusting your teammates. And I think she does a really good job of that. Um, and it opens up everything for us when she plays in that way because then the defense doesn't really know what to do. And, you know, we're moving, we're screening, the ball is moving. And um, and she's a, a, a big part of everything. So I'm just happy to, to see her doing her thing and, and being able to, to shine on the, on the big stage because we know that that's the type of player that she is. Sab, I mean, the ultimate goal is to win a championship. Is this one step down, so to speak, and you can rest for a couple of days, and if you play either Vegas or Seattle next, you'll be ready for them and to get the sort of the next step? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, you know, your goal is to win a championship, but you got to win these two. And so um, I think it's understanding how important these games were because you drop one at home, and then you got to go on the road. And, um, and every game is just as important as the next to be able to come out and win. Obviously, the ultimate goal is what it is, but you know, it's every single game is a championship game to get to that final goal. And obviously, our goal is to not lose at home. So this was really important for us to come out, take these two, and now have a couple of days off and kind of rest, recharge, and get ready for whoever it is we're going to play. Uh, Sandy, before the game, you talked about um, how you just wanted to get Sab some more opportunities. And what was it like to see her get on a roll? You said she just has to make a few. What was that like watching that? And how important do you think it is? I mean, she has a game like this. I don't know who you're playing next, but for her to have a game like this and maybe she struggled against some team uh, last year, how important is it maybe to have a statement and say, we got her at her best and we're going in strong? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously we want to be going into the next round playing well. And I think this game has prepared us for the next round. Uh, Atlanta played really good ball. 
It was probably one of the best games that they've played all season long. They were really physical. We had to work for everything that we got. Um, and these two, like, I think we just, you know, our whole team effort, but, you know, we, we know how important Sabrina is to us, our overall success. She knows how much she is. Um, but that it's not, it's about still us, her playing in the right way. I think her with the ball in her hands has been really good. I thought late in the fourth quarter, it was great to, to get her off the ball, to free her up a little bit as well too, um, with the movement so she could get downhill. I thought Slutty came in and, and complimented her very well but I mean she does a lot of great things she's a winner in the end she's a winner she wants to win uh, they have both great chemistry together it was great to get JJ established down there low too because we need that as well um, they're obviously they're everyone's important but especially these two Hi, everybody. Um, for Sandy, it felt like as the game progressed, the defense was getting stronger and stronger, especially against Gray and Howard in the fourth quarter. How do you think you guys were able to really sort of slow them down, especially late? Yeah, they started off on fire, but I didn't think we had the, the right... Um aggressiveness that was too easy it was KYP it was a lot of one-on-one -on -one. they were making big plays we were over helping we were giving them open looks there um, so we just have to we, we know what we needed to do it was more like okay 10 more minutes right in that you know in the second half it's like we're down but it's like we just got to claw our way back in with defense and do better job on the ball and then down the other end I mean their pace was hurting us too we were slow getting back. So I think that's when Sloot came in. I think that was a really good matchup for us and we could contain Canada a little bit. Um, and then we got going. We got we're out, the ability to get downhill. We're moving the ball. We're making shots. Uh, Stewie got a great tip in. You know, it, it had every, a little bit of everything. But, you know, de defensively, that's what we have to hang our hat on. And I think you've seen you, we've grown so much on that side. We were good last year, but I think we can be a, we're a great defensive team when we're all locked in on the same page. And we have versatility. We know when to switch and when not to switch. Over here. Uh, John Quell, I know this morning I asked you about getting double-doubles, and obviously you finished with one today. Um, just what was the difference tonight? Um, just playing aggressively. Um, like I said before, not overthinking. Going back and watching the game, I think like I was kind of like – thinking what I was going to do with the ball before I got the ball, and it was obvious. Um, and so just going out there and just understanding that if they give me the jump shot, I can make the jump shot. If they give me the drive, I can drive. Um, and then trusting that my teammates will find me, and as long as I did the work, they'll give me the ball. So um, I think that was, that was all it was. It was just my mindset, and then obviously just not overthinking the game. Um, Sabrina, um, there's been a lot of talk about you know the memory of the um, game two against Washington last year, and uh, this morning, you said you didn't want to go back to you didn't want to go to Atlanta, um, and so for you, was there a turning point in the game where you really felt that drive um, push you forward? Um, I mean, I think just obviously it's a total game effort. Like it, it, it doesn't happen. There, there wasn't really this switch, but I would say in the fourth quarter, we just kept getting stops. Um, we got Leo got an and one, JJ got one, Stewie got a tip in, Sloot came in and. Um, hit a big like fadeaway floater. So it was just a total team effort of us continuing to just chip away. And I think that's kind of, um, ultimately it's tough to play against a team that does that for 40 minutes. And we never got too high or too low. Obviously they played a great basketball game and they played like they were supposed to, like their season dependent on it. And um, I'm just proud of the way that we came out and stuck together for 40 minutes on both sides of the ball. Hey, Seb. Uh, 23 of your 36 came after the break, and you were 8 for 11 and took just two threes in that second half. You said you were intentional about getting downhill, and the crowd was just erupting with every play you were making down that stretch. Is there, now that the game is over, a moment that you look back to that, whether it was the MVP chance or just kind of uh, some of the whistles that you were able to get there late that um, really stands out to you? Spike Lee gave me a high five. I saw that. I saw that. I thought that as was so dope. I, as I was going to take the ball, the ball yeah. out of bounds, yeah. and I felt like New York was just like injected into my veins. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, I was like, "He was like Spider Woman or something." We're winning this. Like I got, yeah. It was just injected. Like it just came all the way through. <laughs> it is what it is. Was it the third? Spike Lee. Was it the third? When? Third or fourth? Um. Third quarter, third quarter. When you yeah, like toward, we were, yeah. we were kind of right there with him. I went to take the ball out of bounds, and I think I scored right then. He got up, still talking to me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. Right after that, you scored too. I was like, yeah, yeah that's tough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fight. <laughs> that was pretty cool. We had a lot of people there. Didn't we? I know. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm.